Hey guys, it's your girl, Cynthia Renee, and welcome back to the Unwind Rewind, where I sit back and recap some of my favorite shows, which I'm sure some of you guys' favorite shows as well. And with that being said, let's get into today's show, which is Tyler Perry's Sisters, Season 4, Episode 8. If you haven't caught up on the latest episode of Sisters, click out of this video, baby, because I'm about to spill the tea and drop the bombs, okay? Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let's have a conversation down in the comment section below and let's get into the what video. Now, baby, listen, before I get started with this video, I just want to say this episode gave what it was supposed to give. Okay. I am still reeling right now. Okay. Because I was not ready. I thought I was ready, but I wasn't ready. And I just want to say to Jake the Snake. I've been calling you Jake the Snake for about three episodes now. Um, I'm going to just start calling you Jake. And I'm going to tell y'all why in a minute. But let's just get started, okay? So, of course, we're going to pick up where we left off with Karen telling everybody that she's pregnant, right? And they is shocked. This wasn't even on their mind. Even though she can't drink. But okay, they thought it was the preacher man. Anyway, so keep in mind, Fatima's still on her way because she coming, right? And they asking her like, well, are you sure? Have you been to the doctor? How far along are you? Who's the baby daddy? And of course she says, Zach. And now they feeling like this is a setup. Like you only want Fatima here. You set this up, you know, like you set her up, which we know she did, right? And so Fatima come dressed in black. She ready for war. Cause she like, if they try to jump me, it is what it is. You know, she packing. She ain't worried, right? Child. Karen thought she was doing something. This is the moment I was waiting for, right? So she like, I'm pregnant and it's by Zach. And Fatima was like, oh yeah, I know. He told me as soon as he got home when he left you. Mm. Salt to the tea, baby. And all the girls like, ooh, bitch. He told her because they didn't think that Zach told her either because they still thinking about the old Zach. But this a whole new Zach. This is Zach 2.0, right? And so they like, oh shit. Mm, point for Fatima, right? And so Cameron, little dirty ass. Oh, but do he tell you that he be calling me all the time? If Fatima like, wow, that's interesting because I got the passcode to his phone, baby, and I don't be seeing him calling you. And Karen like, well, maybe he got two phones. And she like, yeah, he do got two phones, and I got the password to that too. And <laughs> they was like, oh, two points for Fatima. Like, girl, it ain't working. It's not working. So Fatima like, okay, well, can I go if that's all you wanted, right? And so she like, okay, you can go. And Andy makes Karen like stop her and I was proud of Karen in this moment okay I was proud of her um she apologized to Fatima and she was like you know I just wanted to hurt you and I don't have a problem with you it's not about you it's about Zach yada 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 and Fatima I understand girl if this Zach baby if and that's a big if a capital I capital F if is Zach baby? Hmm. Then um, I would never mistreat your child. But the team are like, baby, we gonna have to get a DNA test because baby, the math ain't mathing. It ain't mathing, cause you got one plus one, Zach and Aaron. That equals two, boo. It's only one baby. It can only be one father. Okay, so who is it? We don't know. Child. Mm -mm -mm. If Fatima stayed to have a little girls night with them or whatever, and Karen really wasn't feeling, feeling it, but she put on her big girl panties. So kudos to y'all, kudos to them, child. <sighs> mm -mm -mm. I, I just wanted to see her face when Fatima told her she already knew, and I was, mm, I was uh, ooh, so happy about that. Anyway. So then after the little girl's night, Karen had went back to her shop and Aaron calls. He just cannot, he just cannot, child. He cannot stop. And basically, Aaron, the made a calendar, he put together a timeline and he mathed in the math. And he like, this could really be my baby because 
the time's too close together, which we all know, she know too. And she is adamant, this is Zach's baby, this is not your baby. Girl, you want it to be Zach's baby so bad until that DNA test come back that it ain't his. And when you going to the doctor, sis, because how you ain't did that yet? I don't even understand. Child. Mm. So Aaron hoping, praying, and wishing that it's his baby and she don't want it to be his baby. But that's it on Karen. I don't even want to talk about Shorty no more. Let's move on. Now, for Tima to went home to her man, you know, he just got out of the shower and he is glistening, baby. He looking like he looking. He looking like good cooking, okay? And she feels him in about everything that happened. And he was scared for Karen. He like, is she in one piece shot? Because he know how Fatima is. If y'all don't know, watch the season, okay? Check her resume, okay? Google sus. And she like, it went well. You know, everything was good. She actually like the girls and blah, blah, blah. And then Zach tells her about Gary and his little ultimatum and about helping him get Andy back. And Fatima like, okay, what the hell? Like, don't trust him. Don't whatever. Soon as Zach said Jake's name, Fatima got a knot in her neck. And she like, oh, I don't got a good feeling about this, right? And I was like, sis, me either, right? But that was before I watched the rest of the episode. And I was like, I got to stop calling him Jake the Snake because he might not be the snake. The snake is the snake that we already know. Now, let me just throw this in here real quick because I am not a hater, okay, by any means. And I get props where props are due. Okay, so boom y'all andy goes to the bedroom and she found a little tablet that gary left her with the play me no on it right and she is like no nah, i'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna do it and then she did it right and he made her a virtual house tour so he made a video himself and he walking her through the house like go over here go over there this is this and he got her favorite ice cream in the freezer and her favorite drinks and he put all her furniture in there that she wanted and loved and dreamed of and this and that right real sweet but we ain't falling for that shit i'm a different type of breed we don't do that so she weak right she getting weak she real weak like xwv weak in the knees right and so he like at the end of the video, I put two buttons. One button say come, and that's for him to come over. And the other button say don't, right? And if she press don't, he ain't going to get no message. So he going to know not to come, right? Child, she did not press the button. Okay, Andy. Now she was crying. But she, you know, that's part of the healing process. But okay, Andy, I see you. I see you, girl. I see you, girl. Props to you. I was proud of you this episode. Go ahead, queen. Now, another little quick throw-in is that Q popped up on Maurice at the bank because y'all know he out of jail because he snitched and whatever. After he tried to rob the bank with his homeboys, yeah, he snitching on them even though it was his idea. <laughs> Funny, right? And he basically got paroled to... Maurice's address and he got on his little ankle ankle monitor and he got to be at Maurice's house within an hour or they gonna come get him and take him back to the clink right and Maurice's like boy you can't stay with me like you got me messed up and he's just begging I mean he begging and Maurice's not having it and then our good sister Sabrina pulled up and she just all too ready child she all too ready to call the police Sabrina Sabrina girl boom child Maurice, let that man come live with you. We ain't even got to drag this out, okay? We over that. We tired of the dragon. Let him come live with you. We know it's coming, okay? By the end of the season. Let's move on. Child, now let's get into the bullshit. Hold on. Let me take a sip of this wine for this. Because, <laughs> baby... <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Baby, let's go. <sighs> let's go to Gary. His little bitch ass. Oh, I swear to fuck. I will come to Atlanta just to beat your ass, you punk. Anyway, I forgot. It's just a show. It's just a show. Gary called 
our baby daddy, because I think he everybody's baby daddy at this point, okay? He called our baby daddy, Zach, right, to apologize for the little bullshit that he pulled at the basketball court, right? So, Zach accept his apology because, you know, Zach is a real nigga. He ain't got time for that female bullshit. It's cool, bro. It's cool. You show me your true colors. I got it, right? And he like, okay, well, I just wanted to tell you what uh, circles your name been in. And Zach, like, I'm listening. And he like, you know what? I'm going to have Jake, not the snake, come over and explain everything to you. And he like, okay. And Gary's like, you might want to take your money out the bank, some of it, and stash it somewhere just in case something happened. And Zach like, oh, okay, so what you saying? And he like, you know, just maybe you should do that, right? And then he keep asking about his stock. Like, so... How did you know to put your money on that stock? How did you even find out about this stock? You real suspect right now, Gary. What do you know that we don't already know? What do you know, sir? Even though two minutes ago, you just told him that you was going to send Jake over there to talk to him in person because y'all shouldn't be talking on the phone. And then you start asking him 21 questions, 50 cent. About this stock over the phone. Sir, who do you think we are? We about that life. Don't do that. And Zach like, boy, let me get off this phone with you, right? Hmm. Let me take another sip of my damn wine. Hold on. Because he got off the phone with Zach. <laughs> and the door opens. And who comes into his office? Hayden. Toting along on his crutches. Still beat the hell up. He still ain't healed. So he ain't learned from this ass whooping. And him and Gary is working together. Because Hayden want to take Zach down. So he using Gary to get information from Zach. Oh, let's be friends. And you tell me this then the third. So he can go run back like a little bitch to Hayden. And tell Hayden the information. So Hayden can get Zach locked up. Because Gary got Hayden watching Andy at the office. Her and Robin. Mm. This nigga is crazy. This nigga is a nut and he needs to be in a straight jacket. And that's just that on that, right? And so, Hayden, like, you know, you keep on getting information for me. I'm going to keep getting information for you. And Gary don't even know why Hayden mad at Zach. And he like, well, what's your problem with him? And he like, you know, I just don't like people breaking the law. And Gary like, oh, only when it's you. Because apparently, Gary got a lot of dirt on Hayden. Child. Mm -mm -mm. I cannot. So this is why I can't call Jake the Snake, Jake the Snake no more. Because Jake, okay, let me go back, okay? So, earlier in the episode, Jake had called Zach to apologize to him about the bitch shit that Gary bitch ass pulled on him, right? And he was just telling him, like, you know, the stock that you betted on was a whack-ass stock. And now, all of a sudden, it's just, like, the main stock. So, it's raising a lot of eyebrows. And he, like, you know, he gonna check in with his people at the SEC to see... If they got a tip about Zach or why people is just talking about him and his stock. Like, he want to know. And I was like, okay, that, you know, I'm still eyebrow lifted. We don't really trust you right now. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, right? And then, when Hayden left out, Jake was walking in. And Jake was like... Why is he here? I don't trust him. I don't like him. I never liked him. And I was like, okay, Jake, what you mean? And he telling Gary, like, why do you have him watching Andy at work? Like, that's real weird. Like, y'all got some weird shit going on. And I was like, mm, keep talking, Jake. You, 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 you get me. You are getting me. So then... Jake had went over to Zach's house finally to tell him the information. And he was telling him, like, look, somebody told the SEC about this stock and they're going to come asking questions. And he asked and Zach, like, test questions. Like, so if you knew about this stock, 
what was this stock doing in 2015? What was it doing six months ago? And Zach is befuddled. He don't know what, nothing about nothing because we all know he don't know. And Jake like, okay, you need to come chill with me. I'm going to get you ready. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about this stock. So when they come for you, you're ready. And Zach like, well, why are you trying to help me? Like, I don't trust you, bro. And he like, look, you a good dude. I think you a good dude. I just want to help you. And Zach is not having it. And then the bitch in the suit comes in. Are you Zachary Taylor? And he like, it depends on who asked. And she arrested our baby daddy. Point blank, super period. She arrested our baby daddy. And he like, what for? And they didn't even tell us what for. And then the episode went off. And I'm just still like, what the hell is he in jail for? Like, he got the right to know. The fuck? We don't even know. How y'all not going to tell us? So we got to wait a whole nother week to figure out why Zach in jail. Whew. Child, I'm done. I am done, y'all. Lord Jesus. That was the end of the episode, so that is it for me right now. I will be back next week with another recap for episode 9. So, like, comment, subscribe. Um, Let's have a comment down. A uh, comment down. <laughs> let's have a conversation down in the comment section below, y'all. And I'm finna get out of here because I gotta watch Snowfall so I can do my recap to Snowfall. Because Franklin Saint finna come back and that's my other baby daddy. Um, So, yeah, I'm finna get out of here. It's your girl, Cindy Renee, and I am out of here. Peace.